to God this season by um, always honoring Him and off, off and on the field and uh, keeping my attitude in check when I'm on the field. Don't lose control. And um, to also read my Bible every day of my own efforts. Um, commit to my family this season by uh, being a more kind and a less short brother to my sisters because I snapped them all. Uh, to work harder in the classroom because I've been slacking off. Uh, I commit to my team this season by uh, always being the best leader and the quarterback that I can be, and uh, I'll just keep the uh, team spirits up no matter what we're in. It's hard, I think, sometimes as a young man when you grow up in a home with a mom and dad or both coaches, former athletes, and he and his sisters you know, just usually are expected to play whatever's in season. And so we look at many things, parameters in our family. One of the things we like to do is, whether you know it or not, we love to have fun. We are we call our children the otters because I think if you know what otters are, they're very playful. They spill over each other. They just wrestle. And so our default as a family, whether you know it or not, you see us in a certain vein, we love to have fun. We love to laugh. And TJ is the chief otter. So his sisters look to him. He is the one, the instigator, the motivator. He is the one that gets to have fun with his sisters. They adore him. They just absolutely worship the ground. And yes, sometimes he could snap at them because his, his two sisters just always want to be with him and around him and hug him. And so we love to have fun. And you know, and having fun is something I think the Lord gives us the liberty to have fun because you know when you're rooted and based in Christ and you have great smile on your face because of what God's done for you in your life and what he's doing in your life. So the next thing, biggest part for us is the family aspect of it. We just we just value how much family means to us, not only from our immediate family, you know, for our kids and me and my wife. And, I mean, we just tell them, aside from the Lord, the next thing is the most important thing is our family. We love to spend time with each other. We just love to hang out at the house. You know, I told my class the other day, we, it was so long, we just... I, our, some of our neighbors probably didn't think our kids had any clothes. We just ran them. When they were little, they just ran around the yard naked all the time. <laughs> my mother was embarrassed. She'd drive up and tell me, Tommy, get some diapers on your kids. And we just said, Mom, they just like doing it. You know, they'd run around turn the sprinklers on. And we'd turn the automatic sprinklers on. That was their shower for the night. So, you know, we just, we love to have fun with our family. And we just thankful that the Lord has given us a family. And I appreciate just, you know, hearing about your families because I realize that, you know, we're blessed. We're blessed to be here. We, we, this is such a privilege to us to be here around people that really value not only family, but the institution that what God has put men in a place of leadership. And, and whether men like it or not, God's given you a backpack to wear, and it's a big backpack. And many men just choose not to do that. And that's why our nation is in the position it is, because men have just abdicated their responsibility. And so this morning, as y'all sit here and get to listen to each one of these fathers and sons come up, I want you just to know it's a privilege that we have to be able to come here and just talk about what God has given us responsibilities and men. The last thing we talk about in our family is most important is the faith in God because we can do a lot of things in our life, but when it comes down to the end of the day, it is all about honoring God. It's about serving God. It's about doing the things that God's given us, a great mandate, and as we want to love Him with everything we've got, our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And number two is to honor others and bless others and serve others and you know, love our neighbor just as God loves us. And so I appreciate TJ because he's followed along in those lines. He's got a great legacy in his family. My mother and dad, are, I consider my dad to be the greatest soul winner there is in life. And I know he's grown up with that. Knowing that his granddad is, has a great legacy. And I'm hopeful that his dad is continuing to try to honor those steps that my dad instilled in me. And so he has got a legacy that he's following, that we pray for him every day. And I just trust that you as teammates will continue not only to pray for him, but pray for each other. Because I know we as dads will continue to pray for not only the sons, but we want to pray for the fathers. Because I've been blessed just listening to all the things y'all are saying. So I just appreciate very much TJ. I appreciate the fun he has. I appreciate the faith in his, his Savior and his family that he loves. And I just look forward to continuing to grow as a young man and to continue honoring God. So I appreciate y'all prayers and support for our family through this. Love you, buddy.